Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ, guys. I want to share this dream uh, that the Lord gave me on the 27th of uh, October 2017. In this dream, ladies and gentlemen, I found myself uh, at a very high rising, we call them skyscraper, building. And I was on the, I was on the top floor. In this room was filled with Christians. We're all Christians in this room. In the corner of the room, there was a table. And I saw uh, Obama and Hillary and Bill Clinton uh, sitting around this table. I could not hear what they were saying. But I perceived in my spirit that they, they were rushing to sign a form or a piece of paper. And this piece of paper is to do with the mark of the beast. And I began to warn people in the room, saying to them, do not trust Obama, he's up to no good. But within seconds, by these Christians, I was shut down in flames. They told me that Obama is a very good man. Uh, I do not know what I'm talking about. And I should just go and take a seat. And they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to have, have no conversation concerning Barack. In the middle of the room, I saw a gentleman and he was sitting around a small table and he was writing. So I went over to him and I said to him, what are you doing? And he said to me, I am writing down all the names of everybody that will go through the tribulation and the great tribulation. They will go to heaven. And as I looked on these names, I could not read it because the what he was writing in was not English. No other language that I've ever seen. It was completely different language, ladies and gentlemen. And I began to go back again and warn all the Christians in the room, be careful of Barack. He's up to no good. I keep on saying he's up to no good. He's going to implement the mark of the beast. Again, they wouldn't have it. And then I went to the window. And when I went south the window, I looked down from where as far as my eyes could see because obviously I was on this high rising building. And when I looked, there was lots of water um, on the ground. And then I turned my attention into the skies. Ladies and gentlemen, what I saw was absolutely amazing. I saw angels dressed in gold all over the sky and each one of them had a trumpet. I saw Jesus as well standing, but uh, the interaction between me and the Lord was very, very quick. He didn't allow me to uh, focus on him too much but the glimpse that I saw of Christ he was like a stern father ready uh, to, 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 to discipline his children that, that's, that's the look and that's a feeling that I got in my heart and as I was looking at this amazement of angels and Jesus standing in the sky one of the angels came down he just walked on the air <laughs> ladies and gentlemen amazing he just walked and he came down to me when he came down to me he said to me that he said carrie Ann, i'm ready to take you out of here you must come now and he said come on my back and as i was about to go on the angel's back ladies and gentlemen barack and the clintons got up from the table and when they got up from the table, they walked over to the people, well, to the Christians in the room. And Barack said uh, something in the line of, I have an announcement to make. And he basically told them that uh, he uh, uh, that is basically going to implement his, he said, his chip, his mark, and that this... Uh, this will, it will make things better. That's what he said. He said, once you get this chip, everything will come back to normal because I perceive in my spirit that there was some form of destruction that went on. And that's why I could see the water all the way down when I was looking. 
And immediately, ladies and gentlemen, when he mentioned that, it's like the scale begin to fall off the eyes of these Christians and they realize that Barak was the Antichrist straight away. And as I was about to go on the uh, angel's back, all these Christians rushed to the window asking the angel to take uh, them with with him and the angels basically said to them that they're not ready and they cannot come because when I was warning they would not listen and the angels said come Karen you have to go now and I remember the angel turning around to them and said that Jesus Christ return this is what the angel said Jesus Christ return is within three and a half to four years time do not take the mark of the beast. That was a message to the angels, to these Christians in this room. And as I went on the angels back, I then said to the angels, where are we going? And he said, I'm taking you to the wilderness. And he said, hold on, because I will be transforming into a horse. And immediately this, this angel just he just transformed into this golden, this beautiful golden horse. And, and I could and I could still see all the angels uh, in the sky with the trumpet. But the buildings, there was loads of buildings uh, around my building. And there were angels collecting people from these high rising buildings to take them uh, to the wilderness. So and then the dream ended. But I just wanted to, to share this with you because I know that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. But equally, I know that the wilderness event, the woman in Revelation 12, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot urge you to let you understand and let you know that this event is coming up very, very soon. Some of us will be pulled out and be taken to a place of safety. You All you need to do is to read Revelation 12, ask Jesus, who is the woman? Because this event is very close. This is something that's very, very close. So I just wanted to share this with you. God eternally bless you. I love you all and I see you all someday soon in glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen, amen. God bless you. Amen, amen.